And that's everything. Seems simple enough. Yeah, you said you did cashiering before, right? Yeah, but I'm not the best at it. You can't be any worse than Quinn. I can hear you, you know. I'm well aware of that. Anyways, how about you start tomorrow night? All right? Okay, sounds good. Do you have any other questions? Nope. Cool. Then you can go. Sweet. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow then. See ya. I bet she won't even last two weeks. You're terrible. She'll do great. No, my presence will be too distracting for her. Uh-huh. You'll see. Oh, I can't wait. I'm back! Juliet! Hmm? Are you ready to go? Where? Don't tell me you forgot! Maya, please be more specific. We were gonna go costume shopping tonight, remember? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I already bought mine. Uh, well, what does it look like? I'll show you when it comes. Okay, I guess I'll just go by myself then. Have a nice night. Okay. Remind me how you convinced me to come here again. Because I needed someone else's opinion, and Levi already has her costume, and I assumed you didn't. This whole thing is pointless anyways. It really wouldn't kill you to lighten up a little bit. But I need my personality to match my soul-crushing aura. I bet if you had a girlfriend to go with, you'd be with them right now, picking out the cutest couple costume. God, anyone who thinks couple costumes are in any way acceptable don't deserve a college degree. Hey, I've worn lots of couple costumes. Wait, Lilith, that's it. What? We should do. No. What? No. <laughs> you're no fun. That's all right. I prefer pleasure anyways. God, you're so... Oh, wait. Lainey? What are you doing here? Uh, hey, Maya. How was your first day? Oh, well, it was really more of a tour. My real first day is tomorrow. That's great! I work tomorrow, too! Really? This is so exciting! It really is! Maya, try this on. Hmm, it looks a bit skimpy. Lainey, stay right here. I'll need you to tell me how it looks. Okay. Uh, hi, Lilith. Hey. So, uh, what are you going as? A lesbian sex demon. Uh, um, that's very unique. If you like me, you could always just ask me out. I excuse me? I admit, I was a bit skeptical at first, but I absolutely love it, Lilith. I knew you'd like it. Yeah, it's really pretty, but who are you supposed to be? Princess Jasmine, obviously. Yeah, Lainey. Obviously. <laughs> well, I actually have to get going, May. I'll see you later, though. Okay, bye! How is she so effortlessly hot? <laughs> yeah, Lilith tends to have that effect on pets, but I'd be careful. She doesn't exactly have the intention of settling down anytime soon. Oh, I can tell, but don't worry, she's not really my type. Don't kid yourself, she's everyone's type. Uh... Anyways, I'm gonna go check out. Have a nice night, Lainey. See you tomorrow. Hmm, Levy should be done with her tutoring by now, right? Maybe I should go see her. I don't know, maybe- oh, Dexton. Uh, hey, Maya. Hey, um, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah. You don't think she- <sighs> Oh, relax, Savannah. May is an idiot. She won't say anything. <sighs> Why do all my friends' partners enjoy screwing each other so much? Sorry I couldn't come with you earlier, though. Oh, don't worry about it. I just went with Lilith. But isn't she going as Dark Cupid for, like, the second year in a row? Probably. But we ran into Lainey. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I saw the two of them talking the other day, too. I really hope Lilith isn't just messing with her for fun, though. Lainey's really nice. You just don't want to deal with the awkwardness when they inevitably break up and you still work with her. Well, that too, but Lainey isn't gonna screw Lilith like Harper or Havana did. Do you think they actually even like each other? I think they'd like screwing each other. True. So, how have you and Daxton been? Well, we haven't seen each other too much. We've both just been so busy, but I mean, we have a date scheduled for Friday. 
Why do you ask? Why are you still with him? What do you mean? You know the kind of reputation he has. That was before we were together, though. Did you see something? I didn't want to make a whole thing out of it, but I did see him with Havana earlier. Yeah, well, that's because they're friends. They weren't always just friends, though. But it's not like you saw them making out or something, right? No. Exactly. Then there's nothing to worry about. If you say so. I got snacks. Oh, thank God I'm starving. Did you get my- Hey, guys. Oh, yeah, I invited over Lainey. I thought you found her annoying. Nah, she's fine. I figured you'd both want to chat with her more anyways. How'd you two even run into each other? The Target self-checkout? Lainey, give me your scarf. Oh, uh, thanks. No problem. Two antisocials. It's like a match made in heaven. Well, I wouldn't say that. Just ignore them. They're just messing with you. In our defense, you do end up dating almost every girl that you exchange words with. At least once. More like twice. And you did invite her over. Yeah, because I knew you both were friends with her. Okay, okay. We'll drop it. Well, since Lainey's never had movie night with us, I think she should get to pick the movie. Oh, are you guys sure that's a lot of pressure? Oh, it is. Think of it as a rite of passage of sorts. And you will be judged very harshly. Well, I did hear about this new horror movie that recently came out on Netflix. But, I mean, if you guys aren't into horror movies- Wait, are you talking about the Pet Reaper? Yeah! That's what I was gonna pick! The trailer looked so good! Don't downplay it. It was epic! I mean, it didn't look that good. We all know. Don't ruin it, Maya! Okay, okay. What do you think, Lilith? Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever you guys want. Lilith is scared of horror movies. Yeah, she gets so- No, they're just- stupid and dumb and stuff. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh, well, if you don't want to watch it, we can- No, I can handle it. Let's just get this over with. Okay, but if you need to hold someone's paw- I swear to God, Levy. Love you too. Come on, Lainey, you can help me with the snacks. Oh, okay. Dang, this is a lot more gory than I expected. Blood is so cool. Oh, just admit it. You like this movie a lot more than you thought you would. I won't say anything until it's over. No, shh. Whatever. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. She's definitely not coming back. Yep. What? Then maybe one of us should go check on her. If you wanted alone time with her so badly, you could have just said so. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I met one of you two because you guys know her better. By knowing Lilith, do you mean knowing when not to bother her? Because that's about all we know. Yeah, I've roomed with Lilith for two years now, and I barely know anything about her life before college. She's a very private pet. I wonder if she killed someone. You know, I had a dream about that once. Oh my god, me too! Well, I guess I'll just go then. And no, it's not to make out or something weird like that. Okay, we'll tell you what you miss. Thanks. I can't believe you came all the way out here just to avoid a horror movie. I just needed a break. But aren't you cold? You get used to it. If you have something to say, just say it. What do you think I'm gonna say? Probably something about how you've started to like me, and you simply have no idea how a studious, morally correct girl fell for me. Am I correct? No, you're not. Hmm. Correct me then. I... I don't like you, Lilith. You don't? I mean, you're very pretty and alluring, but... I never like someone romantically that I barely know. Hate to break it to you, but personality doesn't exactly matter when you spend all of your time making out. But that's not what a relationship should be. Well, not for me at least. That's not what I want. I want someone I can tell anything to. Someone who knows how to make me laugh, even when I'm in tears. And someone who's always honest with me. Those kind of pets only exist in fairy tales. That's not true. My parents love each other like that. That's... nice. What's your ideal type? I don't do personal questions. You should know that by now. 
If I wanted to ask you a personal question, I would have asked about your parents' relationship. I like girls who like me. Alright? So that's why you kept asking if I liked you. I don't like you, though. No offense. It's just that my friends really like you, and I don't really want to mess up this whole friendship thing that you have going with them. Yeah, that's understandable. Your friends are pretty cool. How'd you guys meet? I'm not just gonna spill my whole life story to you. I'm not asking you to. <sighs> Me and Levy became roommates in freshman year because we both forgot to fill out the roommate match form. As for Maya, she became good friends with Levy, therefore came over to the dorm a lot. But Levy's like friends with everyone. Just because they're friends with her doesn't mean that they'll stick around. And if they do, they usually just want something from her. God, some pets are so greedy. We all are. I only invited you over to see what kind of pet you really were. What kind of pet am I then? You should go back inside. You look like you're about to get frostbite. I can do whatever I want. You shouldn't sacrifice your own health for someone that you barely know. I'm staying. You care too much for others. That's the kind of pet you are. You make that sound like it's such a bad thing. You're only setting yourself up to get hurt. I'll end up hurt either way. At least this way I'll make some more friends. Yeah, but we're not friends. Not yet. Not everyone is going to like you. Or even be your friend. I don't want to be everyone's friend. A lot of pets suck. But I want to be yours. <sighs> If I go back inside with you, will you stop being so sappy? I guess I could tone it down a bit. Fine. Let's go then.